Hey guys, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you guys a new ship that I just unlocked. Sorry, sorry if I mispronounced this. The Aoba, which is an Imperial Japanese cruiser. Middle on the tech tree. And let me just tell you right now, it is a breath of fresh air. So I don't know if you guys watched my live stream, but I think my last live stream I had, I literally died like 19 times driving the Kuma. Now the Kuma isn't bad. It just It's just a big target with no armor and... It's just a big destroyer with very little torps. I mean, granted, it has four torps on uh, each side, but still, it's just hard to use sometimes. Especially when you, you know, are, you know, kind of down on yourself and you're not thinking correctly. But anyways, I finally unlocked the Oba, and it is so nice. All right, so let's just go over some things about it that I really like. Um, instead of, so this is, wait, so this is tier, is that tier six, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so we skipped the tier five. So this is pretty much... The Cleveland class, quote unquote, well, quote, the Cleveland class, unquote, of uh, this tier. Granted, it doesn't have all the, the, the best guns and stuff, or the amount of guns, but it has better firepower, and the guns sound damn awesome when you fire them. All right, but um, the next ship that I will be unlocking on this tree is one of my favorite uh, heavy cruisers to ever sail the seas, okay? The Magami. This is a light cruiser. I think there's a heavy cruiser edition, but this is a light cruiser one. Um, ooh, no way. Good riddance. I never even knew that. Okay, so um, this is the Megami. Very beautiful uh, ship. These, these are, I think, are trip six or uh, uh, five inches or six inches. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure five inches. Um, and, you know, just kind of like the same Cleveland setup. It has two torpedo launchers, etc. I'm going to get back to the Aoba, but what I just noticed is that the Megami can have eight inches on it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just the icon for the main battery. And it looks like um, the six inches or the eight inches that we're going to get are, are going to reduce one uh, gun per turret. As it says, minus five on the artillery. And we have five gun emplacements. So anyway, so this ship is what I'm going to get next. And I'm really excited about that. All right, but anyway, so getting back to the Aoba, um, let's kind of go into depth why I kind of like the ship a lot or I've enjoyed using it. We're actually fully upgraded, which is pretty cool. Um, so unlike the Cleveland, the Aoba has uh, three turrets of dual, dual guns in each turret, making six eight inch cannons on deck. Um, you know, granted the Cleveland class has better DPM for its tier, and it has like, oh god, I think it has 12 six inch cannons. The Cleveland's just really, really good. The Oba is okay, but it's it's, it's a really good carrier as well. Um, second armament, looks like we have one, ooh, okay, so th this is our second armament. I believe this can be used for AA, I'm pretty darn sure. 120 millimeter for the secondary duties and anti-aircraft duties too? Yep, there, there, there he is too, yep. Well, this one is, okay. Um, then we got for um, the anti-aircraft duties on um, Aoba are pretty, they're, they're, they're mediocre. Um, you're, you're not going to see as much um, damage to planes as you do if you were to uh, sail out the Cleveland. Uh, because the Cleveland has like 40 mil Bofos. Bo bo bofo Bofors? Bofors. We're, we're going to call it that. Bofos? Uh, but it is still a really enjoyable carrier. Um, and unlike um, Elise, the Cleveland and Pensacola that I know of, uh, the, the Japanese carriers have torpedoes. This is a very advanced launcher. It has four tubes in it for four torpedoes uh, per side, making eight in total that you can launch in a matter of, you know, 30 seconds of each other. Uh, one of the down... Whoa, look at look at this. Are you serious? I can't shoot down that, that many planes? Look at this AA defenseman arrangement. We have... We have 25 millimeters, 25 trip millimeters over yonder. Oh God, I don't know, man. The Cleveland just does it better for me. It, it the, the Cleveland just kills planes a lot faster than the Aoba. Uh, but what was I looking at? We're looking at the torpedo, the the torpedoes. Um, uh, one of the downsides of these torpedo launchers is, is that they're not very aggressive torpedoes. Um, the field of view stops right here, pretty much. So that so that, so these torp launchers can't go like this or well, you, you can't see my mouse I keep forgetting that uh, but they stop um, they they can't like angle in front of the ship they only kind of angle like um, perpendicular with the ship and then behind it um, so it's kind of hard to use these torps um, in an offensive situation but they are pretty good for laying torp uh, walls and um, 
pushing the enemy back for defensive purposes. As you guys can see, we have an F1M2 on board, which is our scout plane that I have been using a lot. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a really enjoyable cruiser. You guys are you guys are gonna like this cruiser when you do unlock it, and I highly recommend it. The eight-inch guns sound awesome. They have a lot of range. Um, and uh, when they do hit, they do a lot of damage. So without further ado, let's take this baby out in some action. All right, guys, so welcome to the battle. We're in a pretty high tier battle. We have some very high ranking uh, carriers. We have a tier eight Lexington and a tier seven Ranger paired up against um, an Amagi, Cleveland, Pensacola, Baltimore class, which is a tier nine. It, where, oh, this, is it right in front of us? It doesn't. Yep, yep, it has the three it has three turrets of eight inches. Look at this baby right here. That thing is a beautiful piece of machinery. And there's our beautiful Lexington. Um, his fighters can range from I think F4Fs to uh F4U Corsairs on board. So it'd be kind of cool if we can get a a bird's eye view of the Corsairs taken off, but I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at him. Gotta get in the battle. Okay, hang on. Come on. I want, oh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, they're the Corsairs, baby! <laughs> yeah! Woo, baby! Here, you know, you know, let me show you a little trick I learned. <laughs> Damn, they're pulling some fucking high Gs, tell you that. But look at that, guys. Those are some nice Corsairs. F4 use for the win. I hope I hope that they are... We're going to follow the Balti. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, here he is. Um, I, I... What was he going to say? Oh, yeah. I hope they're 1Cs. There we go. All right, so, guys... Um, we're going to launch our scout. I'm just rolling with this heavy cruiser Baltimore. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I know what he's doing. So um, hopefully I can support him and he can support uh, me. We're going to load AP as well to get ready for those Citadel hits. <sighs> yes. The planes are flying over us. It's a stop at. It's a battle. Now, this map is really fun for like heavy cruisers and like uh, light cruisers and uh, destroyers. Um, but, but battleships is kind of like, meh. I don't like maneuvering too much. Okay, nice. All right, tangos, tangos. Our torp range is pushing, um, I think it's like nine, uh, hold on, we can see right here. Uh, I think it, uh, looks like it's going to be, uh, oh shit. I think it's 10 kilometers. Pretty damn sure, which is amazing. Okay, let's open fire. Just out of range of him. We can go ahead and test a shot out. I don't know why those are uh, HE shots. Good rounds though, good rounds. The music is getting super epic right now. This is, this, this is gonna be a fight to end all fights, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to go down. All right, sorry. I'll, I'll hold myself together. All right, let's get some, let's get some torpedoes rolling. I need to fucking yaw to the left quick or this is not going to work. See how, like, defensive those torpedoes are? I gotta let them go right here. Do you guys hear how sick those gun sounds? Fucking beautiful. Torps are on the way, looking good for at least something to go on. Okay, we got range. Anyone over here? Hello? Hello? So we're trying to try to defend B right now. We have a Cleveland class coming over. Oh, damn, he turned around. He saw them. 8.1 kilometers. He's gonna be an iceberg. It's kind of hard to get your shots off in this game. Oh, Pensacola just might. Oh my God, he's might miss. Oh, we hit him. Nice. We. Penetrated. Okay, Salvo one coming out. Good rounds. Good rounds. Beautiful. I don't know why they're on eight. I think when I switch back from my torpedoes, I always press one. Our team has taken the lead. Ooh, that Baltimore got seriously fucked up. Okay, I gotta pull out of this situation. Because I don't have any armor on this ship compared to the Baltimore. And they really want C really bad. <laughs> Come on, rudder shift! So hopefully I can pull out safely here. 
Um, I do have a defensive option of going hard right once I come out of this uh, um, engagement. Now, do I want to shoot right now? That is the question. Yes, I do. AP on the way. Start a zigzag. Make it hard for them to hit us on the move. Watch out for the iceberg in front of us. Don't want to be a Titanic here. Okay, we're going to turn around to the left here. Hopefully get some nice shots on this guy. He's not focusing us at all. Someone is, though. Torps load it. Torps out. I'm just kind of concerned if, if he's going to maneuver right now. Should I wait? We, we, we still have time. We still have time. Oh, no. Let, let's, let's, let, let, let's get him down now. Our team is taking the lead. Focus him, please. Don't those shells sound phenomenal? Woo, baby! Nice hit on the New Orleans. We won't, we won't have another shot, though. Got to come around this little hill right here. And Oh, who's that? Who's that? Come here! Oh, light damage. Good, good riddance. We got a Pensacola and a uh, Cleveland, I think, ranging me right now. Let's show them what 8-inch is all about right now. Now he's turning into us. Fire right... Oh, just got it off too. Let's see, let's see where those shells go. Perfect salvo. Woo, baby. Why is it HE though? What am I doing? Hang on, we have torps coming from somewhere. I don't. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, we have a Megami class coming up in our front. We're gonna go head over and engage him. Uh, we might drop some torps in the middle of the map. Uh, we'll drop some just here, just in case they want to come over here. You know why not? Right. Now, our team got slaughtered, okay, but we can still have fun. But this Megami is dead? Okay, good. He's Toast McGee. Um, what can we do right now to change the course of this battle? Uh, we're down by, okay, the caps are even right now. Um, and we need to go to, ah, uh, they got it so locked down. It's just kind of hard to really pick your battles right now. I think the best option is to go, oh, Renegado just got, oh, he's, damn, dude. I'm surprised that our Ranger and our uh, Lexington couldn't supply more fighter cover or more uh, offensive capabilities with their uh, dive bombers or uh, torpedo bombers. But right now, I think the best bet is to defend our carriers. Oh, good God, those things came out of nowhere. I, th I think there's a destroyer over there who can see me. That's kind of scary. Okay, come on, ga uh, Geens. God, there's still more, more, more. Okay, this guy's gonna go down right here. Watch this shot. Come on, baby. Yeah, good job, Aoba. That's good. That's all we need right there. Now this Cleveland will be hopeful. See, and then it switches to HE. I don't understand that. I don't. I'll, I'll shut up about it. But uh, can you get a hit on him? Oh, he spliced it. Okay. Set some torps out. But see how see how defensive it is. It's just kind of hard to use sometimes with the torpedoes. Okay, he's not focused me. And these are going to be right here. Uh, right there. Citadel, please. Oh, just overboard. I need my carriers to do some work right now. I'm going to get out DPM, so I'm going to start um, kind of disengaging right now. Good shells, good shells. And then, and then it switches to HE. Isn't that crazy, guys? I don't... Whatever. Nice, hit on him. Oh my gosh, guys! Land the torpedo bombs! Oh, that Cleveland hit, man. It is so... It is... 
It is so hard to go against Cleveland. I'm trying my all right now. Maneuvering and everything, trying to push them away from our carriers. There's some good hits. Citadel hit, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. We just took heavy damage though, his guns are already up while his other ones are just landing on deck. Another Citadel, should be good. Yep, okay, so we know where his Citadel is, we're gonna keep firing over there, it's right behind the last turret. He does not like this, these entries are so deadly. DBs are coming in for him. Come on, Citadels, please. Oh, bad shot. So now I know the Citadel is where I can kill him. I'm just making bad decisions right now. He should be good. Oh, yes. Perfect. Damn it. <laughs> Yes, we're almost there, boys. We have held off this naughty Cleveland. Oh, come on, RNG. Give it to me. Fucking A. No way. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Right rudder. Right rudder. Launch a scout plane. Damn it, I can't see him and the game's about to end. I wanted to beat that Cleveland so bad. Oh shit. That was a good game though. I was proud of that performance. So, um, yeah, the eight enters, I guess, just have a capability of hitting the Citadel super easily, especially the Cleveland with so many guns and um, so little armor. Things go right through it. So let's see our detailed report of that game. A lot of damage. Uh, we got, I, I think we got 20,000 or I think 10,000 on that Cleveland and then one or 8,500 to the Pensacola. Yeah, we got the highest on our team. We did a... We did some really good work with being uh, the lowest tier in game. Pretty proud of, our, of myself. Uh, if you guys will stick around, we'll get another battle with the Oba. Hopefully to show you the anti-aircraft duties um, of this ship. Alright guys, so welcome to the battle. This is a standard battle, one of my favorite modes. Especially when, when I'm in a BB, but the Ioba is still nice and fun to use on this map. This is, uh, I think this is map north, tab. There we go. Uh, standard battle north. Man, we are outgunned and outnumbered. This is going to be a tough battle. We do have two Clevelands. They have two Clevelands and Ioba, and they have an Ioba as well. We have a, yeah, they, they just have a lot more battleships. But the thing with their battleships, the Kawachi only has a nine kilometer um, engagement range, while our Fuso has like 14. Hang on, let me just a little remember. Battleships. You have more range than their Kawachis. I guess that's how you spell it. Kawachis. <sighs> okay, we got this. So yeah, we, we need our Fusa to go left. Um, good. It looks like um, the Nicholas is going to the right just to scout it out for right now. That is perfect for us. Oba in the front. Might have to get some uh, HE rounds on him real quick. Far range and uh, fire. Switch to AP. That's okay. Ooh, damn. That 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 ping though. Those guns sound so phenomenal. I love the way they sound. Oh my god, he just teleported across the map. Hit him. Ah, oh, too late. Okay, we're just Okay, we have a Nicholas coming down the center. We'll we'll go ahead and engage him very soon after we engage this Congo.
Come on, guns, rotate. Fuck, I'm waste of a fire. Just dropping torch. Just dropping torch in case someone wants to come down that way. Good rounds, good rounds. Was that an HE hit? Damn. Oh, this is about to be a, this is about to be an engagement in half. I can't wait. Let it all unfold. Come here, Clemson. Yeah, you can't rush us right now. We have too many, too many uh, variety of ships in this fleet. Is he gonna go into that wall? Okay, yeah, I think he's stuck now. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he just got wrecked. Yeah, once once your destroyer gets stopped, you're not gonna survive anything more than that. Sending the scout up just in case. Cleveland class! We are front lines. We have to be careful. If we had, if, if we notice any kind of aggro on us, we have to pull back super quick. Five thousand damage. That's amazing. All right, let's pull back. Good hit, Ioba. Well done, sir. <sighs> Man, they, 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 they want me bad right now. Let's keep the zigzag up. Zigzag up. We got this. I'm out of I'm out of the uh, the battleship's range. They're only like nine kilometers, and we're pulling back. Our fusos are coming up good, so now we can range behind the fusos and do even more damage. Granted, we lost a lot of health there, but we did trade off really well, and um, their team is falling apart right now, and they're getting singled out one by one by one. On the way, on the way. Good hits, good hits. Oh. Bad shots. We're laying on top of the uh, um, the uh, battleship instead of on the water line. Good hits. Now we're out of his range right now because the Kawachi does not have any range at all. Has a lot of guns, but because it's such a low level battleship, it just doesn't have any kind of sort of range duty, so they're too far in front. Right here's good. Right on the water line. I love these 8 inch guns, man. They're so fucking phenomenal. Good hits, almost with the kill. Good job, team. Good job. Look how we just pushed so hard on this left side. Did our duties. I kind of got a little too confident and almost died in the beginning of the game. Um, the Phoenix, or the Omaha is running away. Um, I gotta be careful on him because, you know, especially later in the game, they target anyone who, who they can get damage on or get a potential kill. I don't blame him. Uh, but they have no force at all. Um, I don't know where they, their other Ioba is, or their Cleveland that's still alive. And they have one more Kawachi. 
um, who's none to be seen at all. Come on, Congo, you can come. Okay, he's gonna be coming out right here. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna, uh, I don't know because I think he might be focused on this other um, Kawachi in front of us. But then again, if he just puts one saddle into us, he's the potential to one shot us. Spliced. Is he, hit, is he gonna hit there? Nope. Okay. Right there. Okay, so now what I just noticed is that our base is being captured. Um, I'm actually quick, and we're gonna head and go back there and see if we can reset it. problem if the DD's in the cap he's gonna smoke it out and it's gonna be very hard to spot him okay tango come on I hope I get over there I thought having all the planes over in the bottom of the map would have spotted these guys a lot earlier to give us a little bit of a heads up there good reset Cleveland well done sir Kawachi's almost dead over there Just outside of my range. Might be going into it, so we're gonna fire right here. Switch to AP. Splash damage, damn it. <laughs> Pens, but still, damage on target. Be looking at me, boys. Trying to pull back. Come on, shells hit him. Yeah, whoo! You almost went after me. Good job, team. Well done. That was pretty intense. Good job, team. So we have a scout over the cap. Now we have one DD, and I don't know why all of our ships came back. Um. All right. <laughs> I guess, you know, they, I mean, I mean, hey man, they're following the fleet, why not? We'll just have one guy go cap for a little while, even though he's being fucking pursued by torpedoes right now. We're gonna cut up the middle, and uh, hopefully kill the destroyer, and then cap, if the Cleveland can't make it out of there. Full steam ahead! Watch the top speed, though. Top speed's phenomenal on, on, on this cruiser. Oh shit, there we go. There you go. Go ham, AA. Over. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't flack our own guys, guys. Jeez, have some decency. <laughs> They're like, fuck it, just kill them all. So, no kills this game, but 49 hits. Probably about 30,000 damage this game. 
We, we really didn't pen any Citadels. Well, we penned one Citadel. That was a Cleveland uh, in the very beginning of the battle. But overall, good support. And uh, we came out on top. Or our team did. Our Fuso just had a fucking field day today, man. Four kills. Like, why not, dude? Oh, I just alt-tabbed. I hate that because, like... Hang on, can you guys still hear me? Oh, right, yeah. I, 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 I hate that because... Uh, You'll, you'll, you're pressing Alt, and then, you, and then you try to check the team, see what's happening, then you press Alt-Tab, and you get out of the game. GG, guys. Good job, team. So, low damage game, but uh, good support, and uh, we came out on top, as said before. Oh, my God. That freaking Cleveland had a game and a half. Same with our Fuso. I wish I could check how much damage this Cleveland did this game. Uh, but we were, we were third in... Oh, we were fourth on our team. Still not bad. Um, with the team having two more extra ships, but with their Kawachis being such low range, what they needed to do that game was they, they, they needed to all go together, get in close, you know, like eight kilometers and just, you know, lay down the fire, but it's kind of hard to coordinate that if you're not in a squadron or a division. Wow, 46,000 damage. I thought we only had like 30. Well, GG to us. Woo-wee. Well, all right, guys. That is it with this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I highly recommend the IOBA and, um... It's going to be it's going to be a fun ship to grind through. All right guys, till next time. Peace.